look on the internet. What is it and what do I do with it? Nobody cares what it is. They want to know what to do with it. The new recycling logo will have something with like instructions on here. It'll say recycle is clean, clean and dry, store drop off, which is the case for plastic retail bags, curbside. One of the better things about it is a lot of uh, the brands, the consumer brands are embracing. There's a tile that says do not recycle because sometimes you may have two parts to a package. Part of it's recyclable, part of it's not. And they're being very transparent about that to help people understand. Um, for us, because we own a couple recycling facilities that helps get a lot of the, the dunnage that we don't want in there. It's helping clean up the stream. So we take pride in that. And then I said we work with third party programs, uh, certification and verification of our products. I said Rainforest Alliance, FSC, SFI, uh, we work with Biodegradable Products Institute. If we're going to be working in a market that has compostable, we will ensure that it, the product does meet the standards for compostable. Uh, on the next slide, uh, this is kind of an example of one product of what we've done uh, with them to help make them more sustainable. Uh, plastic retail bags. Our position again is packaging choice. We know that some people want to choose a, reuse, a reusable bag. We want them to, when they do that, to have a bag that they can use enough. Uh, if they use a paper bag, we make those. We want to make sure that bag is something that can be made with recycled content and recycled. And if they choose a plastic bag, it's the same thing. We know that people are going to use that as well, so we want people to have a bag with recycled content and can be recycled. So about uh, 15 years ago, we realized there was problems with this and with this ecosystem of recycling. So early on, we were one of the leaders. We built two greenfield recycling facilities. One was at our former Wisconsin Film and Bag brand and one at Hilux. We actually built two of the early recycling facilities for bags and we've now worked with nine other companies to mentor them to be able to recycle plastic bags. Uh, this is an industry because it was domestic, really wasn't impacted as greatly by the Chinese, uh, uh, what they're calling the green wall, because we were already buying it from local retailers uh, around the country, bringing it back. We make it, we, what happens is the consumer gets a bag, they take it back to the store, the reason store recycling works so well is that the trucks are coming in to drop off supplies at the store. They're going to leave, they're going to be empty. They just put bags of them on the, the truck. It goes back to the distribution center, they bail it, we keep a trailer there. When it's full up, they call us, we bring it to North Vernon, Indiana or Wisconsin, or we'll ship it to our regional partner around the country. And then what will happen is they'll recycle it back into a pellet and we'll move it to one of our facilities and use it in our products. Uh, because of that, we now use 120 million pounds of recycled bags and film per year. Not only can people recycle their plastic retail bags, we also manufacture food packaging, such as bags that are used for apples or potatoes. This can be recycled in the program. All these other things. This is our first big success story and what we try to do with all of our brands. Um, we've had great stories on our paper side. Uh, this is our Double Life brand uh, with the growth of Amazon and everybody gets those boxes at home that go into the curbside. We are able to use 100% recycled content in our bags because we're now one of the consumers of all those recycled boxes. We're looking for ways that as a packaging company, we can have that circular economy and uh, bring that back into our products. So with that, I'd like to kind of transition over to Ken Roblet.